Hey guys, I hope you are well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you've not been here before. I'm Sinead Crow and I do weekly fashion and styling videos. And today I'm doing a handbag collection video. So I've been meaning to do this little update on my handbag collection for ages and I have been paying it off because there's so many. And I actually filmed it, but I'm refilming it because I wasn't happy with the first time and I didn't think that I'd given you guys enough information so I wanted to do it again and kind of like talk a bit more about the bags and wear and things so that it was a bit more useful rather than just being like I got this bag, then I got this bag, then I got this bag. So it's not going to be an order, I've literally just got a pile of handbags on the floor. I know, a lot of people are probably going to be like, and I'm just going to go through it and talk to you about the bags, how I got it, why I got it, why, how I use it, how often I use it and so on and so forth. This is the first one I'm going to show you, just because this is the closest one to me. So this is a little furler bag. I love this bag so much. It's such a handy little bag. I have to admit I haven't used it that much, but it's not because I don't like it. It's just because I have other bags that I prefer. Uh, it's a really cute little summer bag. It's got nice little feet, so it stays nice and pristine. And I really like the kind of champagne gold hardware um, rather than the like yellow gold, because I feel like it goes with any jewellery. Um, and also it's got a really nice chain, it's a very comfortable chain, it's kind of like a, I don't know what you call it, but it's like round, so it doesn't like, it's not too hard, um, and yeah, it's got a little pocket inside, it opens really easily, you can fit quite a lot in there to be honest, and yeah, it's one of my fave little cute handbags. Um, so this is my nearest bag, and it's a Mulberry Keely bag. This is actually a super, 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 super generous gift from the brand themselves, um, and it's the new style. It's got this really nice gold buckle detail with the chain, and then it's like got the um, embroidered quilting on the front and the back and it's got this nice flap and it's really easy to open because it hasn't got the, it's like a magnetic one so even though it's got that detail it is actually easy to open and then it's got a crossbody strap and it's got, uh, you can make it longer or shorter and I've really enjoyed wearing it, I wore it the other day like this but it does also look nice like just over the shoulder like this really like the colour, it looks so nice, I wore it with a cream dress and inside it's got a lot of space too, it's got two big pockets in there and then it's got like a little side pocket for your cards or whatever um, and yeah I just really love this bag you can take the chain off if you want um, if you don't want the chain and it, do you know what this bag really reminds me of the pochette motif um, from Louis Vuitton so the next one's like a mini bag and this is from Marc Jacobs or Marc by Marc Jacobs is it Marc Jacobs or Marc by Marc Jacobs um, and it's like a, it's called the camera bag I think and I saw this first on Happily Grey and I loved it and I was like after one for ages and then um, very exclusive got in touch with me about working together for London Fashion Week one year, I think it was like two or three years ago uh, and I was like hell yeah I love this bag so much, it's got this really cool, I think you call it like a guitar strap and I wore it like every day, I have so compl many compliments on it, I still wear it all the time um, because it's really cool out one for like jacking up a really simple outfit and you can actually remove the strap so if you wanted to put another funky strap on or hold it as a clutch you could or if you just wanted to put a chain on you could switch around the strap if you want to so this next one is one that i got this year and this was a second hand beauty though it's kind of new so i actually got the second hand from my older sister uh, she's like a louis vuitton collector and she'd only ever used it as a um pouch in her handbag to carry things so that's the only thing is that this bit is like oxidized and this bit isn't but i'm sure the more i wear it the more it will get oxidized but yeah so i got this second hand off her for like 200 pounds which is amazing uh, and there are ones online so i'll link them uh if you want one also i love Louis Vuitton bags in the classic i think it's called canvas but i don't know what it actually is um because it's like got a real grain on it and it's literally impossible to mark or do anything to unless you literally took a knife to it. So another Mulberry bag I've got is this one and I love this bag so much. I haven't actually worn it in a really long time but I think it's just such a classic. It's really smart. I think it's the sort of bag that you just keep forever um, and I can actually fit my laptop in there so it's like perfect. So I love this if I'm going like on a long train journey and I've got a mini suitcase and then I can put the suitcase away and keep this with me with all like my snacks and my laptop and stuff also got a zip closure and you can remove 
it's got a long strap which you can remove and I've heard that these bags can actually be a bit flimsy but this one is patent and it definitely isn't but I've heard that the non-patent ones are a bit flimsy so that might be something to bear in mind but I've had this for a while and apart from that curling around a little bit which is obviously how I've stored it badly it's really good um it's a really good nick on the bottom I've clearly put it in bird poo but apart from that that's the only thing it doesn't have feet on the bottom but yeah it's kept its shape nice and it's still a really nice classic bag that I love and I love the colour of it too it's like a navy painting with gold so the next bag is the Chloe Faye medium Ooh. this is the first designer bag that I bought and I got it in Bangkok actually and I, I spent a pretty penny i got it when we were traveling we'd just come to the end of traveling and i was desperate to buy a handbag because i'd had this money burning a hole in my bank i'd saved the money for a bag before we went traveling didn't want to buy one before we went so i was like i'm gonna get one when we get back and then we were going around all the super malls in bangkok and i was like oh i just really want one and we were going home in a couple of days and i was like Do you know what? i'm just gonna get one and i fell in love with this one and purchased it Honestly, I don't regret it. When I first got home, I really regretted it because um, I think I spent like 1,600 and it was like 1,200 bag, but with import duties and with um, like taxes or whatever. Anyway, the exchange rate, everything was terrible. Obviously, it's a European brand and I bought it in Asia. So it's like the most stupid thing I could possibly have done. But at the time, the colour was really rare. And I didn't see it for ages, but then because it was so popular and sought after, they did actually add it into the classic colour range. And I don't know if it still is there now. Um, I was actually terrible and didn't put uh, protection on this area here. But it's not too bad. It's got a little bit of a mark there and around the edges, but it's not really that bad at all. The leather's got a tiny bit of scratch on, but not that noticeable. And to be honest, it still looks really good considering how long I've had it. This is my first ever bag and I still love this so much. It is quite a heavy bag. You can fit a ton in there and I actually prefer it when it is stuffed full and it's nice and wide like this. Whereas if it's like empty, it literally looks like a piece of paper. This next one is one that I recently got gifted from the brand Pauline. And I don't really know if they're a designer brand or not, but uh, the bags are over £200. So I would definitely class that personally as a designer. They do this style in literally so many different colours, but I loved this one with all the different shades of like tan. It's really nice soft leather, it smells incredible, and I love the kind of like slouchy look, but it doesn't feel slouchy, like it's got that look to it, but it's still like keeps the nice slouchy shapes, like if you put it down it doesn't just like sink into itself. On the back you can see it's got these detachable straps, uh, which make it like a crossbody and then it's got this little bit here i actually just prefer it as a handheld bag to be honest i would love this if it had if you could wear it as a backpack i think it would be so nice to be worn as a backpack so next is my baby girl my chanel she is so special to me and i actually got this one from paris so when i buy really expensive bags i like to have kind of something attached to them so it feels like super special and this one i was in paris on holiday with my sisters and i had been thinking about buying a chanel bag for a really long time i'd kind of been saving up but i'd only really saved i think i saved three thousand pounds um but i did have other money but i am really weird with buying designer things i don't really like to use the money that i have been like squirreling away for bigger things i.e a house my tax bill definitely shouldn't spend that many wedding other time I wasn't saving my wedding but any, anyway things like that but I got I had it in my head I had I had the three grand saved for for like the bag that I'd been saving separately and I saw this and I fell in love and we went to the original Chanel shop in Paris and they have like the special white bag so everyone else has the black bag and it's just like a really special place and we we're having a lovely time with my sisters and it just meant a lot to me uh, and I was looking at this bag and it was more than expected I think in my head I'd been like I've got three thousand pounds like I could go to four thousand pounds but I'm not spending it over four thousand or three thousand five hundred or something and it was just over four thousand and I was like do you know what I was thinking about it and my sisters all were like just enabling me and everyone was enabling me and they were just like it, it goes up in value, it's timeless, you're going to have it forever, if you're going to get it anywhere then you may as well get it now and start wearing it, all of this, so in the end I just got it, 
I have done a whole video, I, I did an unboxing and I also did a year's review on this bag. If there's any other bags that you want me to do a review or what's in my bag or anything, just let me know and I will do that. So another little black bag. This is from Aspinall and it's the classic trunk. I don't use this as much as I thought I would because I think it's because it's got the silver hardware and I'm way more of a gold hardware kind of person. Also not the most practical one like this. It does have a detachable crossbody strap but as you can imagine the corners are quite sharp <laughs> if they bang into you. But I do wear it, it's just one that you wear on like certain occasions rather than like an everyday kind of bag. It's like a real special kind of showpiece. So another amazing gift I got was this Kate Spade bag. And I actually didn't even pick this. I just opened the door one day and the postman was there with this handbag and it was the most insane surprise delivery. I was so, so grateful and just shocked. And they definitely, they know me well because um, this is such a lovely bag and so my style as you can tell it's like the exact same color as my Chloe bag it's a real it's very like autumnal I really like it it's very pretty um, I love the shape it's kind of a bit like the sac de jour shape it really reminds me of that and it's got a detachable strap and it's also got lots of space inside and it's got like a little pocket inside that's zipped and then it's got two pockets either side like space it is um, and it's just a really nice, cute little ladylike bag. This next bag is something that I wanted for ages. I um, spied this on one of my favourite bloggers, Negan, um, and I loved it. She wore it as a bum bag. It's actually the Chloe Mini wallet on a chain, I think it's called. And I really love this bag. It's got a detachable strap, so you can have it as like a clutch bag, you can have it as crossbody, you can have it as, have it as a bum bag. I've also worn it wrapped around as a little shoulder bag. I actually have done like a different ways to wear this, so I'll link that at the top and you can watch that. It's a really cute little bag, and I love the color so much. It's so perfect for summer. It looks so nice as a bum bag in summer. Um, and I actually had a voucher for Farfetch that covered this bag. Uh, it was like a £500 voucher and this bag was £525, so it's like the perfect amount. So this bag cost me £25, which is insane. On to Gucci. And this bag is a little, this was a little well done present from me to me. So I had like a couple of life career goals that I'd set myself when I first started blogging of things that I really, really, really wanted to do. I don't know if you guys agree, like do this too. I um, do the secret and I always write like a list of things that I want to achieve. Uh, in like this year, this week, this month, like life. And two of those were to go to the Reward Style conference, which is, uh, Reward Style is like a tool that people use in fashion blogging and blogging in general. And they have a conference every year and they fly over some people from the UK. And I've seen some of my favorite bloggers going and I always wanted to be someone who got invited. And that year I got invited, so I got flown over to Dallas. And I also got invited to the Revolve Festival and it's always been my dream to work with Revolve and to be invited to a Revolve press trip. So to be invited to the festival was incredible. And I went to both on the same trip and it was just incredible. I know I've said that word a lot of times, but I thought that it deserved a new handbag to take on the trip and to treat myself. So I got myself this bag, which is something I've been, been eyeing this one a long, a long time. I think it's such a classic wardrobe staple. I always recommend this one to people because it literally, this is kind of like the Louis Vuitton canvas, it's coated. You can scratch it, it won't mark. Uh, it's got this really nice leather pocket on the back, it's got a flap, love the gold detail, and you can actually fit a ton in there, like way more than you would think. And it's also got a really, really, really lightweight chain, and you can wear it as like a little over your shoulder, like this, or you can wear it cross body, and I have got so much wear from this bag. So speaking of favorites, we've got another Chanel bag here. And this one, I, so literally, I was like, Jack was like, just buy that bag, the other Chanel one. He was like, and then you can stop wanting it because you've wanted it for ages. While we were looking at that bag, when we walked out, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I saw this style of bag, the Gabrielle, with, and it was denim, and I was like, that bag is beautiful. I was like, this is crazy. And then about six months later, I was still thinking about it. So I just went in to ask about it, to be like, now I need to start my savings again. And they were like, it's gone, like completely sold out everywhere. Like it was limited edition. I was like, oh, like that's so annoying. Uh, and then like maybe six months later, or like a few months later, I saw this 
um, online and I kept, kept, kept ringing up all the stores in London to ask when it was going to be in, if it was in. And then they finally had it in, but they only had the medium. But I only thought the medium existed because that's all they had online. And then it went into uh, the Chanel store and they were like, we've sold out. They sent me over to Harrods and I went to Harrods and they had one. And then they were like, actually, uh, you, no, they were like, do you want the medium and the small? And I was like, oh, I didn't know it came in the small. And then they were like, no, it does come in the small. And then they were like, oh, the last small is gone. And I was like, no, because then I'd seen that, like originally I was planning to get the medium, which was more expensive. But then I found out that the small existed and I was like, well, now I have to have the small because that is the one that I wanted. Like, you know, when you know a bag just kind of looks better in that size, like, the style is suited to that size the best and I just felt like this bag looks better with the proportions of this size then they rang up everywhere they found out that there was one left no there was two left there was one left um, at Heathrow Terminal 5 I wasn't flying anywhere and there was two one left at Manchester uh, in Selfridges I rang Manchester and they were so kind and they put it on hold for me which is so surprising and then I rang Jack and was like Hey, what are you up to this weekend? Do you suppose you might going on like a nice weekend away in Manchester? And he was like, why? And I was like, no reason. <laughs> and so then we ended up going to Manchester and getting her. And I love her so much. So special and just one of a kind. That it didn't come back in stock. I get so many compliments on this bag. It's so special. I just love it so much. It's got this really special chain that's like navy and oxidized silver and normal silver. Everything is like mixed metal, so it's got there on the ch ch on the chain. It's got the Chanel, and then uh, which is gold, and then that that bit is oxidized silver, and then inside it's got a little keychain thing, so you can put a key on there, and it's got a couple of pockets, and it's also got a zip. And then I love what I love about it is you can wear it a million different ways with all these straps. But if you want me to do a ways to wear or a more in-depth review on this, then do let me know. So the next bag is one that I absolutely adore. It's probably one of my all-time fave bags ever is this Chloe Roy. And I had been like eyeing up the horse print on all Chloe things for a long time. Really, really, really love the horse print. Um, and I'd seen this bag. And I really like the bucket style because I feel like it's really different to all the other things that Chloe do. Like you can definitely tell it's Chloe, it's got that kind of boho Chloe look to it, but it's a bit more kind of different. It's a really different shape to the other ones, like the bucket bag. Um, and I then went to, I was like looking, eyeing it up, then I went to a event and there was a lovely girl there and she had this bag and I was like, oh my gosh, now I love it. And then... I was like waiting and waiting and waiting because I thought I'm going to wait until there's an offer on because I think all these sites always have offers on like discount codes and things and then Black Friday came around and just like two weeks before I had been gifted kindly a voucher for £400 from Farfetch so I waited until Black Friday and like luckily they let me use the voucher on top of the Black Friday offer so this bag was meant to be 1200 and I got it for £600 which was incredible, was such a bargain and amazing and I love it so much. It's leather, it's got the golden horses on it and then it's got inside it's got like a, a little canvas uh, kind of drawstring top which I think is so cute and you can fit so much in here, it's got a detachable strap. This bag goes with everything. If you want a full on review let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that because I could talk about this bag for years. So this next bag was a very generous gift. So I actually went to an event with one of my blogger friends who is an ambassador for Furla. So this is a Furla bag. And uh, we had like a lovely meal with Furla. And before we went for the meal, we were all met in the shop for champagne to see the new collection. And when we got there, they were all like, you can all pick whatever bag you want and then wear it to the event. And we were all like, ah, running around like crazy women, picking all the bags, trying them on. Like, oh, this one, no, well, that one. I took like an hour to pick, like luckily I was one of the first people there because I changed my own so many times. I knew I loved this style but I didn't know if I wanted it in the big one or the small one and they had leather and they had velvet and there were so many choices and I finally went with this one and I wore it so much when I first got it. I definitely will wear it again but I think it's definitely a winter bag to me. Um, I love the red, I love the quilted leather, I think it looks super expensive and Furlet obviously is designer brand but they are kind of more an accessible designer brand, it's like low end designer maybe, like I think they start around £200. And you can fit so much in here and I love holding it by this little strap and having it as like a little bag but if you don't want to then you can leave that loose and then there's a long strap or you could just hold it as a little clutch. 
uh, and you can also take the chain off too if you want like the long leather strap and you don't want this so there's a million and one different ways to wear it so this next bag is another as you can tell i really like red and like burgundy bag i've got one two three i've got four is it just four is that five I've got four of these, which is crazy. Um, so this is from the brand, uh, I don't know if it's called LM or LME, um, and I love this bag so much. I've actually put a knot in it. I don't know if that's like really bad, but I really liked it just so it sat here. And I think the knot kind of adds a bit to it. I quite like it. Um, and it's got this really nice little flap over. The only thing is, is that it doesn't have uh, anything to like protect your stuff apart from this flap. Um, but it's really nice, it's a really nice brand, it's a Prisian brand, it was a gift from the brand themselves and you can fit a ton in here and it really reminds me of like the Fenji baguette kind of style which is why I picked this one because I think it's very cute. Next I have another Chloe bag and this is the Chloe Faye, bucket, not bucket bag, it's the Chloe Faye backpack and it's a mini backpack. I'm not actually sure if the backpack is still available to buy online because whenever I go to link this I can never find it. This is another one of my most worn bags. It is a very like slouchy bag, but it's fine because like it's normally full because uh, it's so small. Um, but you can actually fit way more than you would think in here. Like I can fit my camera, I can fit my um, portable charger, my phone, my purse, my lipstick, my keys. Um, and it's just got the same circle and chain detail. And then it's also got the back straps. Um, so you can wear it as a backpack and you can take either the backpack straps or this off so you can wear it however you want um, and it's in a lovely khaki colour it's not the colour that I would have originally chosen but I actually went to Vista Village and saw this I was originally looking for the cream one but I was so happy when I saw it in this colour because actually this colour goes with everything I wouldn't have thought it would but I love that it's a bit different I haven't seen anyone else ever i don't think i've even seen this online in this color so it's a really special color and it's just a bit different i think it's really nice and i got this in vista village and it was 600 pounds and it was actually when they were still in stores so um you can get some real bargains in vista village honestly i have quite a few bags from there you'll see so this bag is one of my like star pieces the shrimps bag i love this bag so much i undenied about this for a while and then when i finally got around to buying it it was out of stock everywhere and I had reminders set for everywhere and then it finally came back in stock and then i was too slow and it went out of stock again and the next time i went back in stock i was literally there and i bought it immediately um and i love it, it i feel like it's become quite a classic actually um because they have it in a few different colors and it seems to like come in and out of stock all the time because i still have the reminders set on my laptop so I always get messages like it's back in stock, it's out of stock again, it's back in stock um, but it's a really special bag, it's under £500 which I think is quite amazing really for such a special piece it's all pearls, it's got lovely lining, the only thing is is that obviously it's got um, there's nothing to like protect your stuff but I feel like it's the sort of bag that you wear like this anyway so it's not like it's going to be like around your back and someone might nick something from there but yeah, it's a really special piece, perfect for wearing to like weddings and things. I think I actually got this on the premise that I would wear this to my own wedding. Maybe I will, but I feel like you don't really want a handbag for your wedding anyway. Um, it was just a complete excuse. So I've got another furla bag here. I've got quite a few different furla bags to show you guys. So this one is the bucket bag and it's in like a kind of grey pink colour. Uh, it's got a detachable long strap. I haven't actually worn this one as much as I thought I would. Uh, I think I just got a few different bags all at once and then was just like overwhelmed um, and ended up not wearing it as much. I think I might have got it around the same time as got my Chloe Boy and it's quite a similar shape. Um, but this is a really nice bag. You can fit a ton in there. It's really, 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 really handy. You can literally fit everything you need bar a laptop. Um, and I love the fact that it's got the long strap. It's really nice, like kind of caviar, if you were like, or like pebbled leather. So you, you can't scratch it, it's very hard wearing. And it's got a drawstring and nice gold details. I really like the Furla logo. Um, and it's just a really nice kind of simple, basic bucket bag. So the next bag was part of a collaboration I did. It was just a gifted partnership that I did with MCM and Selfridges, they kindly gifted me this bag. I love this bag so much. It's so cool. I feel like it's too cool for me. It's like a really special bag. It's got the classic MCM logo all over it, but then it's got the kind of seatbelt. I think that the, um, the pop-up was all about like travel and it's like a travel collection. So it's got like the almost like an airplane seat 
um, strap, uh, buckle and then it's got, um, it's like a little box bag which is very cute and then it's got the studs on the side, it's also got these and I think there might be a way of like taking the long bit of the strap off and attaching it but I'm not 100% sure and it's got this crossbody strap which I actually really like, it really reminds me, it's kind of like a seatbelt again. Um, but I think it looks really cool. It's very utility style. Another bag that I feel is too cool for me <laughs> is this Balenciaga bag. I love this bag so much. It's probably one of my most worn bags. Even though it's not been on my Instagram a ton, it's like the handiest bag. Whenever I'm going out, I always put this one on because I can fit everything I need in there. Like my keys, poo bags, phone, wallet, and just nip out and have my hands free if I'm with Penny. Um, so yeah, I, I literally wear this every day to walk Jack to work and back and stuff And it just kind of if I want to wear like a really boring outfit like jeans and a t-shirt It just makes it look a bit fancier and this was actually a really kind gift from Brand Alley I did a Brand Alley unboxing you guys should check that out I'll link it here um, because they're amazing and this is they do like it's a bit like this to village But it's online um, so this I think was around 600 pounds or just under 600 pounds and I actually went to Selfridges yesterday and I saw it in the store. So the next Chloe bag I have is actually one that I'm considering selling. So if you're interested, then definitely let me know. It's the only one that I would consider selling really because I just don't wear it as much. And I think it's just the style, to be honest. I think if it was smaller in this shape, then maybe I'd wear it more. It's just very kind of... It's just not really my style. And it's not necessarily 100% not my style, but I think, I think it's just that out of all my bags it's my least favourite and I feel like I bought this in Vista Village as a real kind of last minute I was like I need to get it like someone else is gonna get it and then I didn't really think through the purchase luckily for me it was part of a collaboration so I didn't pay the whole amount myself um, I still really like the bag I still think it was worth the money I spent and I did try to sell it before uh, on eBay but people weren't willing to pay what I wanted for it and I didn't really want to let it go for a lot less because it has got real snakeskin stuff on it and it's a really, really, really special bag. So I just didn't want to like let it go for nothing. I thought I'd rather have it and only use it occasionally than sell it for nothing. Then my last Chloe I have to show you is my newest one. And this one is also a very generous gift that I got from Brand Alley. I love Brand Alley, not because they keep sending me amazing gifts, but also because it's amazing. This was under £1,000. It's a Chloe Faye day bag. This is the smallest style that they do for that, I think. Uh, and you can detach the straps. I love the quilting detail. And I've literally worn this, like, every day. And it's, it's probably my most worn Chloe bag besides my Chloe Roy. And it's so perfect for summer, but I do think it is a classic. Uh, I took this away with me as well. It's travelled very well. It's kept its shape. So I'm really impressed with this bag. Another super special bag I have is this one from Gucci. And I remember seeing the bug collection and falling in love with this bag. Like, I really liked the bugs and I didn't have anything from Gucci at the time. And I just fell in love with them on this bag. Like I was saying with the Chanel bags, I just think some things suit certain styles and shapes and sizes way better than others and they had it on the marmont and things uh, like the classic marmont that everyone has and i just didn't think it was something that i would wear and i wasn't a big fan and it had like a bow on and things whereas this i just think it works so perfectly with just the um the i'm counting them out quickly seven bugs and it's even though it is like a limited edition they don't sell it anymore it is to me like a real classic and i feel like it's got that real gucci style with the bugs on it and it's not too garish, um, though it still has that garish Gucci style. It's got a little heart on the back. It is ridiculously small, which is why it took me so long to decide to buy it. But I'm so glad I did. I wore this non-stop. I still wear it a ton. It's like my go-to evening bag. Because you can have it as a crossbody, you can have it as a clutch. Or you can wrap it round and make it like a little short bag. Or you can make it a bum bag. There's a million different ways to wear it. And I love wearing this as a bum bag on a night out. It's so cool. Then I have one more furler bag to show you. And this is another one that's got the kind of pebbled material. It's a cream bag. It's crossbody. It's got that kind of champagne uh, metal, uh, goldy silver, which means it goes with everything. And you can have it as like a shoulder or a crossbody. It's got a pouch at the back and this is just a real kind of classic, simple style, great as like an entry level designer bag. 
same kind of effect as like a Chanel bag. It just will go with everything. It's kind of timeless and I really love the cream and the gold on this one. And this was a very generous gift from Furla after I met them when I went to the event with them for my friend. Um, the PR she emailed me and said that they had some new bags coming out and did I want to pick one and I picked this one and I am very happy with it. Then finally I have my Louis Vuitton. This is my first Louis Vuitton bag I got. It's the only one I've bought like from the shop. Uh, and I actually got this from Heathrow Terminal 5 Airport when I went to the Cayman Islands. I've been umming and eyeing about this bag for legit a year when I got to the airport. Uh, I had the money saved up for it. I was really unsure whether to get it or not. Um, I actually was after the one with the black leather here. Uh, and then I saw it and they had, they had this style. And I'd never seen this style before and they didn't actually have the black and so I was really unsure. And then I fell in love with this. I think that this looks so nice because it kind of matches the Louis Vuitton, um, the lettering. And yeah, I just have never seen this before. I've never seen anyone with this colour since. I actually went into Louis Vuitton because I was annoyed the clasp kept opening. And I wanted to ask if I could get it switched out for a new one. Uh, and they kind of said to me like that basically the woman was like I've never seen that colour before like it's really rare so if you want to you can but I wouldn't suggest it because it's a special bag so I was like okay I'm gonna keep it and also it was just a fault not it's not a fault with the bag but it's just it is annoying when you hold it like this your arm rubs against that and it can open up um, which can be annoying but I've taken uh, that I love the bag and that it is so special I didn't want to switch out and I just love this bag so much. As I said before, the other Louis Vuitton, they're so hard wearing. It's got a really nice lightweight chain that goes through really easily. You can have it crossbody or over the shoulder. And yeah, it's just a very special bag to me. If you want more info on it, then make sure you let me know and I'll do another video. And that is all of my handbags. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Oh my God, it's gonna be so long, so apologies. But I really wanted to like make sure that it was informative and that I gave you some information rather than just saying this bag that I got here, this bag got here and kind of like talk you through them all. So I hope that you guys find it interesting. If you want to find out any more information about any of these bags, I will link them all in the description below or find alternatives on Vestiaire and stuff if they're not any more available in stores. Um, also, if you want me to do any more videos about the bags, if you want me to style any of them up in my five ways to wear, if you want me to do a full on review, if you want me to do a what's in my bag, just let me know and I will do that. And if there's any other videos you want to see, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day. This has been a very long video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It really means so much to me that you take time out of your day to watch my videos because honestly, I wouldn't be able to do this job if it wasn't for you guys. I wouldn't be able to afford to buy bags like this if I wasn't doing this job. And the incredible, incredible gifts that I get, like I do not take it for granted. It just means so much to me. And every day I wake up so grateful that I get to do this for a job. So thank you so much to you guys. And again, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment with your favorite handbag of my collection or your collection, or if there's a bag that you've seen recently based on my collection that you think that I would love, let me know. I think my bag that I next wanna get is one of the Loewe bags. I love the Loewe puzzle. I love the Loewe hammock. And I really love the new one that's got like the, I think it's called the gate, but it's like a tote bag. Let me know what you guys think. I would love your opinions on new bags. And yes, thank you so much for watching. I don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.